is in his temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Joyful in God, all ye lands. Sing praises unto the honor of his name. Make his praise to be glorious. Say unto God, Oh, how wonderful are thy works. Because of the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies sing obedience unto thee. All the world shall worship thee. Sing of thee and praise thy name. O oh, come hither and behold the works of God. How wonderful he is in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land, so that they went through the waters on foot. There did he rejoice in him. He ruleth with his power forever. His eyes keep watch upon the nations. Let not such as be rebellious exalt themselves. O praise our God, ye peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to slip. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou also hast tried us, like as silver is tried. Thou didst bring us into the snare, and didst lay trouble upon our loins. Thou didst suffer men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but thou didst bring us out into a place of I will go into thine house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which I promised with my lips, and spake with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee fat burnt sacrifices with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. O come hither and hearken, all ye that fear God, and I will tell you what he hath done for my soul. I call unto him. have heard me, but verily God hath heard me, and considered the voice of my prayer. Praise be God, who hath not cast out my prayer, nor turned his mercy from me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book of Job, in the tenth chapter, beginning at the first verse. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, Do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contentest with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldest oppress, that thou shouldest despise the work of thine hands, and shine upon the counsel of the wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as man seeth? Are thy days as the days of man? Are thy years as man's days, that thou inquirest after my iniquity, and searchest after my sin? Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me and fashioned me together round about, yet thou dost destroy me. Remember, I beseech thee, that thou hast made me as the clay, and wilt thou bring me into the dust again? Hast thou not poured me out as milk, and curdled me like cheese? Thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh, and hast fenced me with bones and sinews. Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. And these things hast thou hid in thine heart. I know that this is with thee. If I sin, then thou markest me, and thou wilt not acquit me from mine iniquity. If I be wicked, woe unto me, and if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. I am full of confusion, therefore see thou mine affliction, for it increaseth. Thou huntest me as a fierce lion, and again thou showest thyself marvellous upon me. 
Thou renewest my witness against me, and increasest thy indignation upon me. Changes and war are against me. Wherefore then hast thou brought me forth out of the womb? O oh, that I had given up the ghost, and no eye had seen me. I should have been as though I had not been. I should have been carried from the womb to the grave. Are not my days few? Cease then, and let me alone, that I may take comfort a little. Before I go whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and shadow of death. A land of darkness is darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness. Here ended the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath shown strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Mark, in the third chapter, beginning at the thirteenth verse. And he goeth up into a mountain, and calleth unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And Simon he surnamed Peter. And James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James. And he surnamed them Bonerges, which is the sons of thunder. And Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Canaanite. And Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him, and they went into a house. And the multitude cometh together again so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebul, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devil. And he came them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation, because they said he hath an unclean spirit. There came then his brethren and his mother, and standing without, said unto him, calling him. And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about on them which sat about him, and said, Behold my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. Here ends the second lesson. Now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For 
mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared in the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end.
fulfill now, Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now of the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought into the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance remain with us always, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, 